I think like they were anywhere from like 200 to 600 bucks, depending on which ones you wanted. Oh, um, wow. But I saw yeah. some of the auction prices up to like $8,000 in some of those. Products. They were huge, but now that he's turned into such a... <clears throat> yeah. They're dropping like crazy. <laughs> like nobody... When he's like, no, nah, I don't want those shoes. No, those shoes aren't mine. I don't know whose <laughs> shoes those are. They're not mine. I was thinking, is anyone going to still want to buy them? Oh, I'm no. sure there's still demand out so there. That's why I they're don't know. donating them. Yeah. And the proceeds. That's a tough yeah. one. Yeah. I mean... I. To say that you own a pair, maybe, for 50 years from now. Yeah. Because, you know, he's just coming out with new and new ridiculous things. Or Even than destroying them, though, at yeah. this point, right? Like, that's so bad for the environment. We always hear about so that's much clothing why. waste and things like mm -hmm. that. To destroy them feels worse somehow. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe send them to a country where they actually need running shoes for yeah. their kids. And they don't know who Kanye was. Yeah. Was. Yep. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, well, ABBA is celebrating the 50th anniversary of their debut album. Here's now, most hey. of my collection comes from my grandma and my mom's collections, That's so amazing. I have a lot of old vinyl. So you probably have ABBA. I have original ABBA. I, I don't know if I have that one, actually, but I do have some original ABBA from the 70s. That is nice. so yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I don't even have vinyl. <laughs> no? like, well, because I'm not young enough for it to have been cool again. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's cool for Emily's yeah. generation. It's yeah. not cool for my generation or our generation. It doesn't have to be <laughs> cool. It just sounds awesome. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, like, there was, like, this whole resurgence of everybody going out and getting a vinyl record player. And it was, like, cool. And it was oh, kind of yeah. like, well, that was cool in the 70s. But okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Anyways. Okay, look at this, me getting to three stories. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that was a tease. No. We're going uh, to talk about Miley Cyrus and what she's up to coming up in the next hour's shit. And it's like, hey, I've, you know, I've trimmed your poodles or whatever. And they're like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> um, Tommy Lee from um, Metallica uh, comes in and he's just bought them like fast food. Uh, <laughs> and then there's one other one. Don't mention food. Brian's hungry. <laughs> oh, you're hungry, Brian? Yeah. Aww. And I, I imagine. Being a drummer, Foo Fighters would be nerve wracking because Dave Grohl is a legendary drummer himself. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think it's going to be really good. I mean, fans were really excited. I think, yeah, this new album is going to be a huge success. All right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of a huge success, Miley.